What's up, everybody? This your boy, Mr. T, Money 1993, and uh, I'm back with a little video. Um, decided I wanted to do it, and I did it. <laughs> um, I've compiled a list of who I feel like is the best in the NFL at each position, and uh, for right now, I'm going to do the offense, and the way that I did it is I made a top five contenders and then I put who I thought was the best um, if you got somebody else you feel like you want to add to the list create some debate um, do that in the comment section I tried to be as impartial as I could to make this list because I know some niggas gonna be complaining but anyway let's get it started with the top five quarterbacks as a fifth contender I have uh, Andrew Luck quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts. Four, I have the Super Bowl champion winning quarterback Russell Wilson, aka I compare him to the black Drew Brees, is that what we'll say. Number three, I have Drew Brees. Number two, I have uh, Tom Brady. Number one, contender Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. I um, feel like at this point in his career, he's better than Brady. Um, he's a better scrambler than the other two that's towards the top. He has a stronger arm, I feel like, and his accuracy is just up there. It's up there with him. But the best quarterback in the league, even though he lost the Super Bowl, I still have to go Peyton Manning. You can't knock what he done over the whole season. He won his fifth MVP trophy, and uh, I feel like he's still the best quarterback in the league right now. Top running backs. Uh, fifth contender, I have... Marshawn Lynch off the of Super Bowl winning Seattle Seahawks. Um, it's a reason why he's called Beast Mode. When you see him run, he's always turning them legs, always trying to get them extra yards. Um, sometimes it's even four guys on him, and he's still standing up, and they just have to blow the whistle. Number four, I have Matt Forte from the Chicago Bears. Um, he's a great runner. He's an even better receiver out the backfield. Um, Matt Forte, I like him. Doug Martin. A lot of people is going to forget about Doug Martin because he was hurt for most of this year. Um, I've seen firsthand, being a Carolina Panthers fan, how good Doug Martin can be. Doug Martin in his rookie year was amazing. Um, number two, which will surprise a lot of people, the number two contender is Adrian Peterson. I feel like the two guys I have on the list above him are better all-around backs as far as blocking, as far as catching. And they also can run just as good as he can. So, Adrian Peterson is my second contender. My first contender is uh, Shady McCoy from the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and that new spread offense this year that Chip Kelly ran, he was still running the ball great. And he was catching a lot of passes this year, LaShawn McCoy. And when he goes and puts his moves, he puts some Barry Sanders type moves on people when you watch him. Like, sometimes it don't even look like the Eagles are blocking for him in some kind of way he's juking three, four guys out running a couple. And the best running back in the league right now is Jamal Charles. Um, to get that many wins with Alex Smith as your quarterback, you have to have a great running game, and Jamal Charles is a great back. Um, he, could out, he can 
run you over. He can outrun you. He can juke you. He can catch the ball. He can block. Jamal Charles, top running back in the league. Receivers. Number five, which will surprise some people, Des Bryant. Um, to me, Des Bryant either shows up and shows up big or he's non-existent. He has no middle point. He's not consistent enough for me. Number four, um, he was hurt a lot this year, Julio Jones. Um, play, we played Julio Jones twice, and uh, he's a big receiver who can go up and go get it, and he can still outrun you, Julio Jones. Number three, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall is one of the best hands in the league. It's hard to get something away from him, when, and especially when he's concentrated and he's cool with the quarterback in the organization. He's a dynamic receiver. Um, him and Alshon Jeffrey in Chicago is going to be two beast receivers for Jay Culler for a long time. Number two contender, which will surprise some people maybe, A.J. Green for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, he's a good deep receiver. He can go up and go get it. But I don't feel like he's better than my other two. The number one contender from the Super Bowl runner-ups, Demarius Thomas. Demarius Thomas is the best of both worlds. He can go out, he can beat you deep, he can go up and go get it, or he can run the short little quick routes and beat you that way. Um, he had it was something. He had close to either 15 or more catches probably in the Super Bowl, even though they lost. Um, and the best receiver in the league, Calvin Johnson. You can't. You, I mean, there's nothing you can argue about that. Calvin Johnson is the best receiver in the league. Um, I know there's some notables missing, like Larry Fitzgerald. I feel like I don't. I mean, I know part of his stats thing is going to be because he hasn't had a great quarterback, but I couldn't put him above any of these other guys. Offensive tackles, um, number five, I have Matt Khalil from the Vikings. Uh, he's a good young tackle, and he will be for a long time. Number four, I have Brandon Albert, um, who I feel like may go to Miami this offseason. Not sure yet. Number three, DeBrickashaw Ferguson from the Jets. Um, he's an athletic tackle, protects their quarterback's blind side, and um, he's a good offensive lineman. Russell uh, uh, Kung from the Seahawks. Um, he does get hurt sometimes, but he's a great tackle. He's good in the passing game, and he can even block in the run game. He can pull. He can do whatever you need him to do. Um, number one contender, I have Trent Williams from the Washington Redskins. Um, he's an amazing athlete. If you watch him, if you watch him in a game, he's an amazing athlete. Um, does a good job blocking. But my best offensive tackle, I have Joe Thomas from the Cleveland Browns. If you want to teach a young player how to be an offensive tackle, you just pop in Joe Thomas's film and watch it and... He's not spectacular, not flashy. Never gonna really hear him say anything. Joe Thomas. Best guards number five. I have uh, Carl Nix from. He's on Tampa Bay now. Um, didn't play a lot this year because he got MRSA and had something else. But he's a great guard. Um, seen him a lot of years with the Saints, and uh, you can see how much the Saints are missing him on their O line. Number four. I think he's still in the league. I'm not sure. I know he played with the Ravens. Marshall Yonda. Um, that's what we'll say about that. Number three, Alex Boone. I like Alex Boone. He's a good run blocker. Um, number two, Brandon Moore. Number one, Mike, uh, I don't know how to say his last name. I, I, pot, uh, potty? I don't know. 49ers fans. I know, y'all gonna have something to say. Sorry, I don't know his name. And uh, best guard, Evan Matthews from the Eagles. Centers. Number five, John Sullivan. I like John Sullivan. He's a good blocker. Um, number four, Alex Mack from, again, the Browns. The Browns actually have better players than people get them credit for. Number three, Max Unger from the Seahawks. Number two, Chris Myers from the Texans. Number one, when he's healthy, he's a beast, Mike Pouncey. And the best center in the league, Ryan Khalil from the Carolina Panthers. Um, you can't knock it. Every year he's been healthy. He's a Pro Bowl player, all-pro player, type caliber player, Ryan Khalil. 
And this is uh, my offense of top fives and then the best at each position. Create debate in the comments if you have somebody you feel like should, should have been on my list and that wasn't. Um, I'll get the defensive list to out as soon as I can. And this your boy, Mr. T Money, nineteen ninety three, and I'm out.